This is a bite test gauge. It measures the force of the bite of an animal. So if I bite on this here, should register about 120 pounds per square inch. To get the dragons to bite, we're going to need a little bit of encouragement in the form of some honking meat. We have bite test gauge with stinking rotten meat on it. Let's see what damage our Komodo dragons can do. Right. Lizards aren't generally known for the force of their bite, so I'd like to find out what this super-sized specimen can do. Is it going to actually bite down, though? OK, now that felt like more of a bite. They don't like when the... With the smell of blood in the air, okay. I'm suddenly surrounded by ravenous, drooling jaws. OK, guys, it's all right, we'll let it, we'll let it take. We'll let it take it. Back off, back off. That's fine. So they're just chomping away at it now. Hopefully, wow! They'll get the meat off there, and I'll be able to recover the bite test gauge and see what we've registered. So you can really see how that tail can be used as a defensive weapon. It's like it'd been hit by a baseball bat. Just going to wait a couple of minutes before I go in and get my gauge back. With the meat gone, I carefully go in to see how much power the dragons are packing. Whoa! Well, that is much more than I was expecting. We've got nearly 600 pounds per square inch, which is five times a human bite force, and much more than I expect from a monitor lizard. I mean, these animals have really lightweight skulls. They actually rely far more on their very sharp, backwards-facing teeth to deliver a killing bite than they do the force of their bite. So to have a bite that strong is incredible. 